Hi friends, hope you are enjoying the Panda series. We have completed all, almost uh, half of the section B where we have uh, read Excel, write Excel, CSV, all these are decided, uh, we have discussed and you have also used uh, two SQL where we have uh, our uh, data we have handled, uh, taken from a data frame to our SQL database and this is also MySQL database uh, also available. Now we will learn how we will use read SQL. In this read SQL we can take data out of a SQL database or it can be my SQL database also. Now there are tutorials where we have already discussed how to take out the data from MySQL database and create a data frame. If the link is here you can use that one. Here now we will discuss how to use the Collab platform create a SQLite database, we will again upload our sample student table and uh, push the data frame uh, to the SQLite database and using that SQLite database, we will take out by using read SQL and create the data frame. While creating the data frame, various options we will explore. We are in our Collab platform. First, we will import our Pandas library and as, as PD. So then we'll create a data frame by uploading the Excel file. So we'll say pd.readexcel. So this we have already discussed previously how we'll use the read Excel. We are uh, reading a student file, sample student file. You can download also Excel as this file is there. And one more thing is index call. We are saying don't use your, don't add your own index. Uh, telling use there is a ID column is there and you can use that. But the key thing is we are not uploaded the uh, student sample file. So here it is. I am clicking this. So here again, upload to session storage. I am going for here. It is in this file. I have this uh, Excel file is Excel. Here it is. So I have uploaded it. You can download your sample file. The warning telling that this will be removed once your session is over. So, okay, now it is here. It is student XLS file is there. Now, if I'll run this, I'll be able to create a data frame with this to check it. How the data frame is created. We'll just print the first five rows. So DF dot head by default, it is five rows of uh, data frame data we are taking. Now let's just run this and see here it is. And the ID column is used as the index here. We'll create our SQLite database with the this student uh, sample data frame table. We'll push it. So inside that for that, we'll write the code block. I'm just pasting four lines of code where we are creating the database. This we have previous tutorial. We have discussed it also. First thing is SQL Alchemy, this library I am importing. Then the error module, because if I use try and exit block, then this will help me to print the uh, error message. Now here it is. The path I am saying is my data dot db. This is the SQLite file name what I am going to use and this will be stored in the session. Say I am using in my local system then I have to give full path here. See my directory name then my file name. So here my file name is my data db that will be created. So I am just next two lines connects it there. Once I run this what happens is let me just run it. This is just create a blank database for me. Now I will refresh this you can see here yeah, see it here. My data dot DB is created. This is the SQLite database and inside that we will be storing, passing the data frame what you have created here. Then we will be ready to work on our read SQL. So for that, let's just add the code to pass the, uh, since our database is ready, we will pass the code now. Hey, we will create the table now. Now for that to SQL, this we have discussed just previous tutorial we have discussed the to SQL. Now what is fast? First is connection. So what the, it will be my connection because this is how we are connecting it to our SQLite database and just above we have created this, this line. You see this we have connected that I am using. Now what I am going to do is for then I have to give name. Name means this data frame when I am storing it my data, what should be my table name? You can give any name. I am giving it student. Now what happens that if the file is already, sorry, if the table is already there, what it has to do, it, it will generate an error or it will replace it or append the data means at the end it will add the data. So what I am saying is if exist, 
so in that case you just replace it because frequently you will be running these codes again and again why you will be 35 rows of record again 35 35 like that let us replace it so fresh table will be created now this gives us the this once i run it i will get a table inside my yeah you can see here it has written me 35 that means 35 rows of data or the records are inserted to student table inside our sqlite database we'll add one more code block and I now we'll use read sql to get the data and create the data frame so df equal to pd dot read sql read sql so now we are going to use it and first we'll write the query so before that text this is what we have imported at the top you can see here here it is text is there so that inside this we'll write our query what we are writing is select star from student so star means all the columns from our student table so bring all the rows of data and all the columns next is i we must specify what's the connection is so my connection at the top we have declared it now we are also telling that index column use the id column as index don't you don't add your own uh, index so now we'll say print df so i am expecting that all the 35 records should be displayed here yeah you can see the data frame has all the 35 records id column is used as the index column now here what i can do is let me just close this here instead of doing that i can add, <coughs> add restrictions also so for that let me just place it i am again placing it here where class equal to okay here i have to use so i'll use double quotes here here i'll sorry 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 here again i will use double quotes here class equal to i was saying it's five so you pick up the uh, create the data frame using only class five so let's just see this here you can see only class five are second i can change it to something else let's use four and uh, run this code so now i have all class fours are there we'll close this add one more code block here this time we'll slightly change it what you will do we'll use one string as a query here above this i will write q equal to the, what i am going to do is copy this much place it here and write the q you can give variable name as query or my query whatever it is why i am doing this okay I'm, I, there is nothing change in that i i, I am expecting the same result here it is class equal to four but this is because to manage it easily because i am going to use some parameters inside this let me again copy this i'll keep it here so you can easily download it and work on it so i am adding one more code block pasting it here now this time we'll understand about para how we'll pass parameters what is the problem you may say that this is the way it also can be taken class this four five but most of the time what happens that in your application you will be taking data from the users it can be a kinter application or from a web page also from some other application where the code will be inputs will be taken from the user so user can use a injection attack we call it user can inject certain codes there so for to prevent that what you will say is you will exclusively say don't treat the query is separate and parameters are separate don't use parameters as part of the query that will manage it so for that what i am going to do is we'll write one more uh, option here params so we are saying params and here we are using a placeholder we are saying this is my class and this particular params option there we are giving a dictionary telling the what's the value of see for us this is my class here we are saying the key value it's a dictionary the key is my class the value is 4 
now this is the with now this parameter whatever the for this parameter this is the placeholder it is going to be replaced the 4 is going to be in this place in the our sqlite database not at a part of the query now this particular convention writing this sometime you may question mark will be there sometime percentage will be there that depends on the driver what is working if it is not working you are working in some other driver you may have to change this one so you may have to go for question mark or a percentage so okay let's just see this how this works yeah you can see the exactly class for what has happened this placeholder this dictionary replaced my class with four so that has come up now here you may ask that okay i may have multiple data also so it is not only that my class i may have more uh, uh, parameters to pass how that will be let's just do that for that purpose what we are going to do is to for easy code maintainability instead of directly writing it here we will declare a um, dictionary separately okay class is equal to my class now that is fine and mark is greater than equal to my mark now what is my mark okay we'll see that sorry it's a placeholder i have to put it fine so now there are few more things two things i have to pass one is the class and one is mark instead of writing it here what i am going to do is i am saying my dict one dictionary i am creating it with the same things i am giving the key sorry it's a dictionary so what is the key here it is my class this value is equal to let's me give four and second one is my mark again within quotes my mark this is the key actually then the value is for this is let me give 60 so beyond 60 now what happens here when i am coming i need not write it entirely here what i will read is i'll write my dict so this dictionary or this is whatever i have created here that i am connected it here so that is now available why what is the why we are doing it like this is this we may create dynamically also based on the what the user has may user may not only want class 4 he may want only mark is more than 60 all those things combinations you try so for that dynamically creating this is the way okay that some other time we'll discuss that more let's just run this and see how this is you can see here all the marks more than 60 and of class 4 now let's just increase the restriction and let's say class more than 70 it should be okay let me instead of it is let's say okay let's go to 8 80 now let's say i should how many records are qualified okay you can see there are three records which are more than 80 that's all friends hope you have uh, enjoyed it and understood the concept of how to take out data from a database and use it the it can be any other database also it can be a oracle or mysql the concept remains same so only the connection part little changes will be there so this uh, this way we can take out the database and uh, add our conditions also when different different uh, ways we can extract the data and create our data frame i will also request you please use the questions given at the pages where the bottom the link is available you can visit that and uh, again the same code is available and you can practice the questions also that will help you in understanding the concept in a better way and i will my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon you will be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you are facing any issues difficulties doubts use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching